Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a quick overview of my nursery. Um, basically my one vibe going into this, I wanted, I wasn't going for a specific theme or anything like that, but I did want a specific color palette, so I stuck to beiges, whites, and grays. Um, because I just wanted something neutral. I wanted it so that if we had a baby girl in the future, all I'd have to do is take out like ba like blue blankets and everything that is boyish and just put in pink blankets and girly stuff and it could be transformed right away. Um, if you, you will see, it's kind of rustic, which kind of goes with the flow of the rest of our house. If you guys want to see a home decor tour, let us know and I will make sure I upload that for you guys. Um, so here we go. Hope you guys enjoy. First you walk in here, this is somebody gave us this at the baby shower, it's really cute, so I just hung it at the front of the door. You walk in, Mr. Gus is not supposed to be here, but he loves this mat, so I always have to be yelling at him to get out of here. But basically this is the overview of the room. So we have some bookshelves up there, and then we have a toy chest, a rocking chair, a crib, um, just a little puffball footrest there, blackout blinds, and this is the changing room. So I'll go, I'll go through it all slowly. As soon as you walk in here, we just got these little animals here from Boo Claire. I can link all these items down below. These are from Boo Claire. We just got these little shelves. Um, I'm not sure where, but my husband's mom got these for us. Um, and this little box right here, it just kind of has um, tips and stuff. I got this at my gender reveal. Um, but basically people would just write on these little pieces of paper, so we stored them. So I'll just read you a random one here. Let's see. So this is for my friend Nicola. And it's, it basically says, I hope you love the Seahawks, because she's a big Seahawks fan. Um, I hope you become better than your dad at Ticket to Ride, which is a board game. I hope you get your family to move to Calgary. I used to live in Calgary. She lives in Calgary now. And uh, so she wants us to move back. I hope you never forget how many people love you. I hope you ignore all of AJ's dad's jokes. <laughs> AJ's dad jokes just as much as AJ. I hope you grow up to be an amazing older brother. Love Nicola, aka who your parents <laughs> named you after, because we realized until after we had chosen Nicholas's name that um, Nicholas in French is pronounced Nicola. Uh, love you guys and congrats. And then I'll just read another one. This one, it's kind of hard to read. I'll pick a different one. Um, okay, so this one's for my cousin, Mariana. It says, I hope you love your crazy parents. I hope you become an Olympian gold medalist. I hope you get three more siblings. I hope you never forget your parents' birthday. I hope you ignore reality television and the Toronto Maple Leafs because we're big uh, Calgary Leaf fans. Calgary Leaf, oh my gosh, she would kill me for saying that. Calgary Flames fans, I hope you grow tall. Love your favorite aunt number one. I can tell it's Mariana because of her writing. So that's really cute. I, it'll be nice to read um, to him once, we, once he grows older. So now we move into this area, which is kind of my favorite area. So when we moved in here, we had taken out these doors here. Um, so it was kind of, it wasn't built in at all. It just kind of looked really uh, weird. Like I don't know really why they did it. I think they wanted to make the room look bigger, but it just looked really odd. So my mother-in-law came and she put trim around it, which kind of makes it look like a built-in closet. Um, so here we have a basket. So I'll start from here, bottom up. Um, so in here, I got this, by the way, at, at Walmart for, I think, like, just over $100. But if you try to get these exact same um, change unit from Babies R Us, it is, <laughs> no joke, like $100 more. So definitely do your research. I think it's called South Shore, and I forget exactly what the name is, but again, I'll link it down below. So in here, I just got his pants, um, I got some onesies in here, some uh, long sleeve t-shirts, because since it's the summer, I have them at the bottom, I don't really reach for them very much. And then I have some just miscellaneous stuff in there. Opening this one, here I have his socks, some swim stuff, um, some mittens and booties. Um, here, these are his most used things, all his pajamas. 
So we use that very often, um, just some regular onesies and all his shirts. Moving on into this one, here I've got bibs and some hats. In this one here, I have diapers. He's on size two diapers now and some wipes in the back. And then in this one, I just have a whole bunch of miscellaneous. So these are the wipes I'm currently using, um, some Tylenol, some baby powder, another soother, um, some nipple cream, which I don't use anymore, the Frida, which I would highly recommend this, guys. If you have a baby, I used it a lot in the first few months of his life. Some Penitin, some Vaseline, and some baby lotion. So these are things I reach for frequently while changing him. Then, of course, I've got the Diaper Genie here. And um, I just have his towel hanging there. So I wanted to make a little collage wall. And this is kind of where the rustic accent comes in from the rest of the house. So we got these from Beauclair, that, 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 and that from Beauclair. That was from HomeSense. My husband had actually bought that bear picture and it didn't really fit anywhere else in the house. So I decided to put it there and I think it really makes a good collage. Um, um, this right here, you guys actually look at it. It's one of those um, pictures you can color in, like those adult coloring books, but I really liked it. So I colored it and I put it in a frame. And I think it looks pretty good. I don't know. Not too shabby. Here I have um, a laundry basket. I don't know where we got this laundry basket because my mother-in-law actually uh, handed it down to us. But it's really handy because it's really, really deep. So it fits a lot of clothes. Um, here I got some swaddles, some of his larger swaddles. These are all uh, burp cloths that one of our family members made. They're really cute and really well made. Other extra blankets, more swaddles, and these are all of his um, sleeping sacks and sleeping blankets, wearable blankets. Up here in this basket, I have his zero to three clothing that um, he's out of now. In here, I have extra diapers and diaper genie stuff. Like if you guys can see that. And then in here I have 6 to 12 month clothing in these two baskets there. Moving on here, that is just like a portable heater that we will be using probably in the winter um, once he's in here in his crib full time. But for now we just have it there on the side. In here is all his bath stuff. So once he gets older, um, somebody got us this. It's like a bath water stopper, which is really cute. Um, some bath toys. Burp, uh, some washcloths, extra shampoo. I just like to leave it in a little basket there. I think it's really cute. Then, so what we did for the gender reveal was that um, we kind of, my sister organized it, and she asked people to bring in books. So people brought in books, and they kind of wrote a little, a little bit in it. Some of them have writing in them. So I think that's really, really cute. For example, this Love You Forever. I'm not too sure who this is from, but we can see in here. So it says, from your beloved uh, baby Raymond, from your tia, Andrea and Tio Cody. Tia in Spanish is aunt and Theo is uncle. So they got that for him. So that's really cute because when he's older, he'll know who got him this book. And it's just really touching, I think. Some people wrote little, little things in them. It's really adorable. So... I do love these, but I find that I'm still running out of space for books. I personally love kids' books. And I, I know he's still young, but I try to read him a couple books a night if he'll allow me to and he's not too tired. So I kind of want to put another shelf maybe over here with more books. So coming down here, we have an elephant. Um, we can, you can get this at Ikea. Everybody, it's all over the internet, and then I saw it at Ikea, so my mother-in-law got it for him, but it's super, super cute. And inside, we just have toy chests. I'm not going to open it up because it's just a hassle and a half, but it's just all his toys that he can't use right now because he's too little. Over here is a rocking chair. This rocking chair is um, from Ikea as well. It's really nice because it's just white and it fits with the theme of this room. Like I said, I wanted it very gender neutral. The only thing that you can really tell um, that it's a boy's nursery in here is because of the blue blanket that my, actually my, um, my sister just crocheted for me. 
then that is a lamp. If you turn on the light switch, that'll turn on. That's from Ikea as well. My mother-in-law put wallpaper in here. If you can see it nice and closely, I'll try to bring it up. Um, but it's just kind of like a beige and then a gray and white, which is exactly what I wanted for this nursery. We have this picture here from Boo Claire as well. It says, to the world you are just a someone, but to me you are the world. And it's just completely white and blank slate. We have the camera up there. It's one of those cameras where you can swivel. Um, so you can look around the room, you can pan the room, you can zoom in. It's really, really handy. And my husband just kind of put wiring, wire cover all the way down to the plug. So it looks really nice and clean and nice. We got these um, curtains from HomeSense. They're really nice, they look nice, but they're not that functional. I'm not in love with them. So what I might be doing is we might put a roller blind underneath it to make it even darker in here. This crib was from Babies R Us, I believe, and the bedding was from Boo Claire. So I really love this bedding because it was just white and gray, and it has like a little bit of a zigzag pattern at the bottom there. Then um, this was another gift from my friend's mom. It has like a, the softest blanket there, um, and just some toys in here for him to play with while I'm organizing his nursery. This is his little baby mobile with elephants and again like I wasn't going for a specific theme so the only thing that's really elephants is the baby mobile this um, comforter set that came with the, sh the crib set and that elephant right there but I didn't want to do everything elephants that's why you can see in that collage wall there's no elephants there's deer and it's more of a rustic touch um, this really comfy uh, carpet that Gus loves is from home sense as well and then this is from HomeSense as well. This should basically be a HomeSense sponsored video, but it's not. But this is um, a HomeSense little thing as well. I think it's really cute as opposed to a regular footrest. So it kind of adds that little touch. So yeah, like I said, I really wanted just a clean slate room. Something that could be completely transformed into a girl's room if I needed it to be. And I'm really excited. It's not that much room that I have to work with, but I think... With the amount of room I had, I did pretty good job. If you guys want to see any more house tours, let me know. to Calgary next Monday again to visit family and friends so I'm gonna get this uh, this tour uploaded for you guys and hopefully a couple other videos that I can upload and then the next video I will upload after that will be my Calgary trip I'm going to the Calgary stampede so two reasons why I'm going well three to visit family and friends to write my test for this uh, payroll course I'm currently taking and three, um, to go to the Calgary Stampede. And basically what that is, it's just like, it's just a crazy, kind of like a fair. Um, but it's based around like cowboys, country music. It's so much fun. Um, that's kind of how I grew up. I love country music for that reason. Uh, you basically go around town. They have pancakes and, um, pancakes, sausages, juice, coffee, tea, all for free everywhere around town um, a different day of the week. So it's really nice. It brings the community together. A lot of corporate um, places downtown allow their employees to come dressed in jeans and plaid that those weeks. Um, and they also give them 
some days off for like the stampede parade so that's super sweet the whole city just comes together and it's awesome um, the only thing I'm not so into as far as the Calgary Stampede is the rodeo. I've just never really been into that. I'm a huge animal lover and just something about it just doesn't really sit right with me. But to each their own. Other than that, I will for sure bring you along for that because that will be a blast. So see you guys later. Bye.